Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Corey Ray Steringer, and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing a question that I get asked quite a lot throughout my life, and that question is... Why are you so obsessed with Halloween? My obsession with Halloween basically started when I was born. I know what you're thinking. You're like, how, how could I be obsessed with Halloween when I was born? But... I was born September 16th. I'm a Virgo. Hey to all the fellow Virgos out there. But the very first holiday that I celebrated was Halloween. And one of the first photos in my baby photo album that my mom and dad have kept for my whole life was a picture of me in this little jack-o'-lantern costume setting on a hay bale with my mom back in the 90s. Growing up, Halloween was always still prevalent in my life. And I always just had an interest in the spooky and the creepy sort of things in life. So, through my childhood, I had always liked things like Scooby-Doo, other creepy kid shows, I guess you can say. But what really put me over the top was when I watched the very first Halloween Town movie. That movie just, like, blew the top off of the already growing obsession inside of me we actually had in the woods i grew up back in the woods so my brother and cousins and i played in the woods all the time growing up but there was this random old chimney fireplace whatever you want to call it in the middle of the woods near our house and we used to pretend that that was a portal we would say the spell from halloween town 2 that goes from the mortal world depart me now on this tonight all halloween or something along those lines and we pretend that that fireplace chimney would transport us to Halloween Town. And we would act like we were walking through Halloween Town. Um, another movie that was very big in my Halloween obsession was the very first Harry Potter movie. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. When I saw that, that kind of added not just to the Halloween obsession, but being obsessed with witches and magic and wizards and all the sorts which is still prevalent today um as i started getting a little older from like the elementary school into middle school early high school days it still was there um when i was 14 i finally talked my parents into letting me get a black cat which i had always wanted i always referred to her as my little witch cat her name was raven I got her on October 1st and had her for 15 years. She sadly passed two years ago, literally the day before Halloween. So the same year when I was 14 that I got Raven, my grandma and I started having an annual Halloween party. It started at her house and then moved to a couple other places and now we have it here in our home. Um... So there's not been a year of my life growing up that I have not dressed up for Halloween, that I've not celebrated Halloween. It's just always been there. We've always had the party. Even in 2020, during the pandemic, we still had a small get-together at our last house. Um, so yeah. So going into the adult years, which really I just started letting my freak flag go, I guess you could say. Um, I got introduced into doing The Haunted House at The Haunted School, if you watch that series. Um, I did that for four years, and that was because everybody in my hometown knows that I'm obsessed with Halloween, but also have a background in theater and the arts. Um, so that's how I got brought into that. I also directed and wrote a series for our local community theater in the neighboring town it was called the ghost walks based on something that was started by the theater founder but i originally was going to just use some of hers but i decided to write my own stories and it was literally just like people would come for the tour and they would walk around the town and all these different actors were portraying the characters that i created and reading the skits that I had written um, and again I got brought into that because everyone knew that I was obsessed with Halloween and my 
interest in the spooky things and Halloween, as you've seen recently, has taken me on multiple trips to creepy places. At this point, I've been to Salem, Sleepy Hollow. Got my Sleepy Hollow shirt on now. Salem, Sleepy Hollow. I've been to Point Pleasant, West Virginia. I've been to Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum multiple times now. I've been to West Virginia State Penitentiary in Moundsville, which I still have yet to tour it, though. Um, I've been to Gettysburg a couple times. Did a ghost hunt there, and as you might have seen in one of my previous videos, had an experience there. Um, but yeah, so it's just like Halloween has always been there in my life. Like, I don't remember a time I wasn't obsessed with it. And it's not just been an interest. It's actually led me to do other interesting things in life. Like, for example, for my 30th birthday, I had a death to my youth theme. So everything was all skeletons and ghosts and death themed. When I still lived at home with my parents and in our last house, I had a full-blown Halloween bedroom. And for our honeymoon, we combined my wife's Disney obsession with my Halloween obsession and went to Disney World and Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. And most recently, you may have seen on my channel that we had a vampire-themed Valentine's party or celebrated Halloween for the first time. So I guess another thing I'm going to address too, that's another, not a question, but an assumption, assumption. Um, people think just because I'm obsessed with Halloween and spooky things and witches and all that kind of thing, that I'm like diving into bad things. I'm very careful with this whole spirit realm sort of stuff when i go into these kind of places i always say that nothing's allowed to follow me home we're always very careful with that sort of thing i have never messed with a ouija board nor do i plan to i have seen and heard too many stories and shows about what have happened to people playing with those things i will not mess with the ouija board and people just automatically assume that i will I will say, yes, I've had tarot readings. I own a couple tarot decks, but they're literally in a box in my basement. I don't... I just like the artwork on them more than anything. And then I also want to address the witchy stuff. So, yes, I have cauldrons, I have wands, I have... Witches. This is actually something I got from the Salem Witch Museum and things that I like. But I'm not necessarily practicing witchcraft or Wicca or anything like that. I just like the witchy aesthetic. And even if I was, I don't know why people think it's such a big thing that they need to speak out about it. And I'm not pointing fingers at one person. I've had a couple people come to me concerned that I'm dabbling in those things. But again, even if I was, I don't know why it's really anyone's business. But yeah, so there you have it. I just really like Halloween, really like ghosts and spooky things and witches, but I'm not playing with Ouija boards. I'm not practicing witchcraft. It's just something that I'm very passionate about. We'll just leave it there. I might eventually do like a Q&A sort of thing, getting more into these kind of things. But that probably won't be for a while because I'm still currently low subscribers. But if you like this and you know other people that like this kind of content, make sure you share my videos. Make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you're always getting all the notifications whenever I post. And until next time... Stay spooky. <laughs>